Our treat this week comes from the Everyday Gourmet. This is by Alice Osborne, Jan Wolfley, and Casey Leishman. And what I made out of here was the orange creamsicle pie. And because March 14th is pie day, 3.14 if you don't know what pie is. Not pie, pie. You know circumference over circle which is related to pie so I always make pie for pie day because it's pie hi everybody welcome back so today I'm doing my reading vlog for this week uh, it's actually for the last two weeks uh, I didn't have a reading vlog, vlog last week because there just wasn't anything that I was finished with uh, but I did finish uh, all those books and a couple more so the first book that I finished was Children of Time by Adrian Tchaikovsky uh, this was a Science fiction, the world has ended and people have to leave Earth and go find someplace else to live. So there's kind of like a first contact with aliens. But there's also, like before the last people left Earth, there were some other people who left Earth and went to terraform some other worlds so that there would be a place for people to live. And so now the people have left Earth and they're trying to find a place to live. And they find a place that has aliens on it that are giant spiders and so it's kind of like people versus spiders and you know it's kind of like well it, it is the spiders world so who do you root for like the people who want to go and wipe out the spiders or the spiders who want to wipe out the rest of humanity i really enjoyed this book it was a lot of fun next one that i finished was dead house gates by steven erickson this is the second book in the malazan book of the fallen uh it started out a little bit slower than the gardens of the moon but it really picked up. There were a lot of things that happened in here that I was just kind of, whoa! They were kind of, a lot of things that were kind of gross and a lot of action. Ended really well. I'm uh, certainly intrigued to see what happens next. I also understand, you know, like with these books that they're kind of loosely connected, but a lot of times have like different characters and everything in it, so. Uh, it's hard to follow just one person's storyline throughout the whole thing. At least that's what I understand. Uh, I felt like I learned a lot about Warrens and the magic system and different things, but there's still a lot of questions and a lot of things that I still don't understand. Hoping that the future books will answer those. All right. The uh, next book I finished was called Parable of the Talents. This was by Octavia Butler. This is a second book in the Earthseed duology. This is a dystopian, but I found it kind of like the most organic way that we would get to, the world would get to this place. As in, it didn't seem like it was like one event that caused the end of the world. It was just more wars, more chaos, more global warming, more of, you know, just everything that, just more of what we're doing and more of what continues to go on that continues to just kind of reduce the, er the world and everyone in it take away hope and different things like that. I enjoyed it a lot. The only thing that I didn't like about it was at the end, it seemed a little bit rushed at the end. They're going along, they're doing their thing, and then all of a sudden, it, like everything gets wrapped up in just two chapters. And so I was like, wait, what? <laughs> There's all this other stuff that they weren't really addressing and they did it in the epilogue, but it just wasn't, I, I would have preferred a little, maybe, I think the book could have used about 200 more pages. Next book I finished was Sephiroth's Hand by Melissa McPhail. Uh, this is a the first book in the Pattern of Shadow and Light series. It's a fantasy series. I think there's like five or six books in it. And this one was quite enjoyable. It was a nice adventure story. Uh, there's assassins and who are after the the prince because there are people who don't think he should be king. There's a f kind of a really fun magic system and somebody who learns that they have a magic that has that they thought was no longer around and then there's somebody that the other the other character is Trell and he is a man with no past and he's trying to figure out who he is doesn't seem like there's a big mystery about who he is the reader kind of knows who he is but he's decided that even though all these people around him know who he is he's going to continue on this journey because the journey is just as important as finding out the answer next book I finished was The Thunderhead by Neil Shusterman 
This is the second book in the Ark of the Scythe. <sighs> okay, so <laughs> I liked the first book a lot and then I got to this one and wow, like bad things happen and then I would read some more and more bad things would happen and I got to where I was like, is anything good going to happen? And I was, well, the good things did not happen. <laughs> the ending was really, I really enjoyed the ending. I guess the only problem that I have this is a young adult novel. If it had been an adult novel, obviously there would have been a little bit more carnage and they could have explained things a little bit more in depth than they did. But uh, this is a world where all human suffering has uh, has supposedly ended. The Thunderhead is an artificial intelligence that has taken over everything. Um, and so you can't die, uh, you can't get sick, you can't get hurt, you know, and you can live forever. And the only way to die is there's a group of humans called scythes who are to glean the population because so that the world does not get overpopulated. And wow. So I'm looking forward to getting the last book or reading the last book in the series. So those are the books that I finished. The ones that I'm currently reading are uh, Strange the Dreamer and I just started this one and I have to say it started out with a bang and uh, there seems to be a mystery at it. There's a, an orphan, uh, Laszlo Strange, and he's discovered a secret about the lost city of Weep. And I guess I know it has, it's somehow tied to the things that he's dreaming, uh, but I haven't got that far yet. Uh, the second one I'm reading, the, the other book I'm reading right now is called Pawn's Gambit. This is a second standalone fantasy in the Mortal Techniques. Uh, so I guess all these books are like in the same world, but they uh, they have different characters and stuff. Uh, this is one where this is Japanese inspired. There's I guess the gods of the world are going to decide on a new ruler and they get to pick a human champion and this champion has to do certain tasks for them and find things for them to determine who will be the new king of the gods. So if they call it something else but I don't remember what it is. And the other book that I'm currently listening to with my kids is Embers of Destruction. This is the last book in the Mysteries of Cove. Uh, so this is after the characters have left Cove and they've discovered a city of dragons and they want to basically escape and destroy the dragons so that mankind will be free again. So there's a lot of mystery involved in it, like where the dragons came from and uh, so, so far, so it's going well. Almost done with that series. So the books that, those are the books that I'm currently reading. When I'm done with those, um, I'm going to pick up Shadow March by Tad Williams. This is the first one in his, the Shadow March. I guess there's four books in the series. I know the main characters are twins and their their kingdom is kind of failing and they're about to be attacked by the Fae, the Fae that they've beaten before but now are have built up forces and are going to come back after them. So it should be fun. And then the next one that I'll pick up is called The Burning Maze by Rick Riordan. This is the third book in the Trials of Apollo. You know, it's Rick Riordan. It's the follows Greek mythology, Apollo was a god and uh, Zeus got mad at him so he kicked him out of Olympus and now he has to prove himself worthy to become a god again. Which he's not very happy about and apparently it's happened to him before. And then the next book I'll pick up with my kids after we're done with the Mysteries of Cove is Wonder by R.J. Placchio. This is a story about a boy who was disfigured at birth and he's going to school for the first time and all of the struggles and everything that he faces by just being a little bit different from everyone else. Alright so that's my reading vlog for this week. That's what I'm reading when I'm what I finished and what I plan to pick up next. If you like this video please like and subscribe. I new post new videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Oh. And have pie! for Pie Day.